You know, that was Allison Chains with Rooster. One thing I just want to thank you about is we've been doing these things on the Headbangers Ball with Flashback, where we've been showing bands like four or five years ago on the Headbangers Ball. And one thing that happens is these bands do the show when they're first coming out, then they become huge, and then they don't talk to us ever again all of a sudden. We can't get them back on the show, but I mean, this is like the only interviews you're really doing for this for thing. For this box, is, I mean, this box, we're totally low-keying it. It's like, you know, just what more is there to say, really? You know, we. We did every interview, every TV show, every radio show for the last couple of years, and and for this release, it's just low key. You know, we we did an interview for the press release. There are all the facts. I'm sitting here with you. This is the only place you'll see my face. <laughs> Thank you. Not, <laughs> no, I'm not seeing your I'm face. Sorry. Thank you for coming down. <laughs> okay. Well, other than the live videos, we've got two CDs, which is also live. Metallica. Three CDs, man. Come on. Three CDs. Three. There's three in there. Oh, we open it up. Yeah, see, man. I'll see how it works. And it's got everything on it. It's got all the older stuff and all the new stuff. Sanitarium lives. Yeah, man. It's got everything. And then Sand you've got man. this book, which is uh, got all sorts of cool stuff in it. Great photos. And it's also got like little letters, got, yeah, it's phone got, fun things. Here, give this to me. It's got uh, 72 pounds. Like, well, I don't want to sit and sell this. No, it's just what Why it's Sebastian got. Sebastian did his. <laughs> 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 Instead of, of just putting, you know, 600 more live photos, what we did is it's got like all these silly little things from our little world that you don't see very often, actually that you shouldn't see. <laughs> but, you know, like, you know, faxes from our management telling us how many tickets we're selling in Puerto Rico and, you know, how we're doing in, uh, you know, we should go do an in-store in France for this reason and wake-up sheets and interview sheets and... Here's an, an expense sheet for our European tour. Oh, wait, let me see this for so a second. Barricade, $600. International flights, band, $3,750. Light and sound design, See, all the things 000. that you would know. It's also got a stencil. All the stuff you don't care about. But, <laughs> but this, you know. they probably, the kids are probably more interested in, like, well, is there anything that we can spray paint on? And see, this uses a stencil, which has got this, like, like monster guy, and it's also got, I don't know where it was, but there was like, even, this is a, backstage even a backstage sticker. That is, by the way, not valid on the next tour. But you know people are going to be at the show saying, yeah, here's my backstage <laughs> sticker that I got when I bought the uh, Metallica Live Binge and Purge box set. Anyway, we're going to talk more to Lars and uh, have some more stuff with Metallica as the Headbangers Ball continues. I did it. Welcome back to the ball here with Lars, and we get so many letters here on the show, and I just, ha just want to tell you, that the, a lot of the people are curious and they're saying, we're hearing all these rumors about Metallica breaking up. It's all true. <laughs> do, do you, you say this stuff and they're gonna be no, freaking. No, but I mean, you know us, we're fairly cynical. <clears throat> but I mean, how do you want me to, to answer that kind of stuff? It's, how it about started, you guys are recording a new album? Gonna about, record a new not album. Not breaking up, I'm here. James is, you know, hunting somewhere. I, saw, I was hanging with Jason here last week. It's, I mean, we're not okay, breaking I gotta, up. Okay, it's, that's all I had to say. That's enough. That's enough. But I also I feel like sort of Have you heard the rumors? Do people say, say that kind of stuff? Yeah, what started in England, there was, I did an interview last summer where I was saying, when this tour is over, we're not going to like, like, there's not going to be a lot of activity from Metallica the next year, you know? And it's like the next week and all the tabloids and stuff over and it was like, Metallica are breaking up. It, Meta the manager's going around shopping a 20 zillion pound record deal to try and get it to regroup and all this. I mean, it's just, and it escalates. One little tabloid in England starts that. The next month it's in all the metal magazines. It's like, give us yeah. a break. You know? okay. We've been doing this for 11 years, pretty much nonstop without a break. And we just, we pushed Metallica so far the last two, three years with a black album that it's just time to lay low for a while, get get the hell out of the way. Have you know? guys started ideas on the ne next record? Really? Nothing. Do you Zero. have any ideas what you're going to do? Or? The only idea... I mean, you hate to, no, you're on I'm, vacation, pushing the mindset, it's like, <laughs> start recording, because you know, you can go play what, three years, <laughs> you can play three, two years, non-stop playing, then you got a week off and somebody's going to go up to you and go, Lars, when are you going to go out on the road again? Well, it... it Right now, Metallica is, is, we're all trying to push it as far back in the back of our minds as you possible. Need the, vacation. the only thing You're I can say, out. the only thing I can really say is that we have a tendency to question what we do very quickly after we've done it, have a lot of reservations about every album. The Black Album, now over two years after it came out, still sounds very good to me. It's still, it's the best, you know, it's the longest any of our albums have lasted with me in terms of you know how I like it and, and, and so on. And I think that it, that's a pretty good indication that the next album is not gonna be you know jazz fusion or something mm -hmm. like that. The next, you know, we're pretty comfortable playing the shorter songs, the mid-tempo groove type of stuff. 
that's still sitting really well. Read into that what you want. I have no idea. Okay. We're not going to start anything till next summer. We're really going to, you know, me and James really didn't finish working on this box till like mid October. So Enjoy the time off. Thanks yeah. for taking time off to come talk That's to all us you're going to see from us for a while. So. Yeah. They're on vacation, but if you want Metallica, <laughs> As you can tell you them can on go vacation. Out and buy this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming down. We're going to play another one that comes off uh, this, this box set, which is out just in time for the holidays. And next week, there isn't going to be a Headbangers Ball. We're going to be doing a Metallica special. So uh, whether they're on That's vacation cool. or not, we will have Metallica <laughs> for you. And right now, here's from the Bell Tolls from Metallica.